In attendance for round four of the BMP Paribas Open was tennis legend Rod Laver. The 11-time Grand Slam champion is a frequent visitor to the Indian Wells Tennis Garden and plenty of the last 16 players would be hoping to harness some of his winning aura out on court. David Goffin had never previously taken so much as a set off Stan Wawrinka in three previous meetings, so the Belgian's healthy lead over the third seed in set one came as somewhat of a shock. After taking the opener and amassing a full love lead in the second, the Belgian was odds on favourite, but tightened up to allow a resurgent Favrinka back into the match. Can't defend against shot making of that quality. The Swiss number two levelled the match, but once again found himself playing catch up in the decider. It's now or never. With another comeback completed, Vavrinka had the perfect opportunity to set up match point in the deciding tiebreak. Oh, oh no way. my gosh! Can you believe that? Never in a million years. That moment of madness gave Goffin an opportunity he simply couldn't pass up. Goffin finally does it with a little help from Stan the man. It, it was a, a great match, but uh, for me it was a little bit like a, a thriller. But uh, I'm, I'm really happy that I, I won this one. It was tough to, to finish it, but uh, I'm really happy that I won. If any tie had the potential to match Goffin Vavrinka for drama, it would be Nadal, one of the greatest players of all time, versus Zverev, very much the feature of the game. The young German rallied after losing a break advantage in set one to keep his hopes alive in a tie break. Oh, he's made that. Opened up the court wonderfully well there. After going a set up, Zverev went AWOL in the second, leaving Nadal to pick up the pieces. With parity restored, the teenager returned for the decider with renewed vigour. His backhand, we know, is outrageously good. But when serving for the match, Zverev's lack of big time experience was telling. A complete drop-off from the German allowed Nadal to win the next four games and dish out the harshest of lessons to the youngster. Again. They'll be talking about this one for a long time. Rafa Nadal comes six, seven, from six, elimination. Seven, five, Death on the tennis court. He's resurrected and wins it 7-5 in the third over Alexander Zverev. Novak Djokovic would look to avoid any such drama as he went in search of a safe passage through to the last eight against Feliciano Lopez. The top seed had his wobbles in making it this far, but in the first set, he was back to his imperious best. That's dexterity, just to make sure he could get around there. With the opener in the bag, that good form moved effortlessly into the second set. Oh, that's naughty. There's that little abbreviated take back. And this textbook Djokovic victory was done and dusted in just 65 minutes. Yeah, and that'll do nicely. Can prove difficult to beat Lopez, especially here in the desert, but no problems today for Djokovic. The only remaining American was eliminated from the draw after John Isner was beaten at his own game by Kei Nishikori, the fifth seed taking the final two sets on tie breaks. Marin Cilic's fine run in the desert continues. The former US Open champion made the final eight in Indian Wells for the first time in his career after beating Richard Gasquet in three sets. Milos Raonic made the most of some fine margins against Thomas Burdick. The Canadian needed just one break in set one and a single mini break in the second set tie break to take up his quarterfinal place. Federico Del Bonis couldn't repeat his giant killing antics against Gael Monfils. The French number three outclassed the Argentinian in straight sets to advance. The quarter-final lineup was completed by Joe Wilfred Songa. The French seventh seed halted Dominic Thiem's unbeaten run and now has the unenviable task of trying to beat yeah, Novak Djokovic on Friday. The quarter-finals are spread across two days here at Indian Wells and there'll be no rest for the wicked as four of our final eights are straight back in action on Thursday.